Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, another week, girl. It is Monday, and we are ready to start this week to take it by the horns. We are making things happen this week, okay? Repeat after me. I am a magnet of success, money, love, wherever you want to manifest is going to happen this week. Girl, I don't know. We are feeling positive today. Um, I am cooking, so that's why I'm not on my usual setup, you know, uh, but I still kind of like wanted to come here and give you some tea. Guys, I am so happy. I'm so grateful for all the support that you have been giving to my podcast. I really, really appreciate it. This week, season two will be premiering, okay? I'm going to be putting three or I think the three, ep okay, wait. I'm confused. I think I'm going to put three episodes that I already had on the podcast and one new episode is coming that you do not want to miss. So if you haven't checked it out, go to a Spotify or wherever you get your podcast. Look for Let's Talk About This Mess or The Real Andy of Beverly Hills and you will find me there. Subscribe to the podcast. It's free and you can get all the tea and all of the podcast every single uh week. Um, if you are new here, welcome to the Beverly Troop. We have a lot of fun. We spill the tea. We mention it all. We talk about Bravo, pop culture, reality TV, absolutely everything. So you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this um, mess. I wanted to talk, guys, about uh, Southern Charm. I just finished watching the second part of the reunion and I have some, like, I have some opinions, girl, but I also have some tea. Oh my God. Okay. So this season of Southern Charm, honestly, was really, really good. I really enjoy it. I think it was amazing. Um, they did an amazing job. I was a little bit worried without Catherine Dennis being there, but like, girl, they, they hold it. You know, they, they knew what they, what, what they were doing. And the drama was definitely on point, okay? Okay. So, um, look, I feel that JT and Rodrigo, especially, I was very surprised because, for Rodrigo because he was not very, I mean, he was definitely like a friend of the show and he was not like very present. But the reunion, girl. He thought that he was, that this was real housewife. I mean, he was like this, like this, like this, you know, like, like shade after shade and read after read, you know, this is why we need a gay guy on every single reality show, you know, because I mean, we need some kind of that like realness and sassiness sometimes. So I really want, I, I think him and actually JT, even though, yes, he is a little bit, I don't want to say annoying, but he's a little bit like, like he talks too much sometimes, you know, um, maybe it's because it's his first season or something, but I think those two are really a big part of the future of Southern Charm, you know, the fact that JT is coming here and it's already under, um, Austin Crawl, you know, uh, a skin and and also Craig Conover a little bit, you know, and that he's like really getting to like annoy some people, but also have like a strong friendships inside of the group. JT is gonna last on this show. I can see it. I can see it. You know. Um, okay, look, the whole Shep situation with the alcohol, I didn't quite understand it. You know. Like, he's over here being like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sad. Like, I cannot believe, you know, I'm such a horrible person. I, I'm making so many mistakes because of this. I honestly thought that he was going to say, I realize that I'm an alcoholic, that I need to go to rehab, that something like that, you know? I mean, we know that these people know how to party, you know? And I think, look, me, myself, a person who, like, drinks a lot because that's, like, part of the culture in Colombia, um... I think there is a difference between drinking a lot and being an alcoholic, you know? So when he was like going through that route of saying those things, I said, oh my God, he's really going to say that he's an alcoholic. But then he says something like, oh, I'm just not going to take shots. I'm like, I'm like, what? 
Like, like it's just like the whole thing of like I I need to talk to the group, Andy. Can you give me like the moment? I was like, okay. And then he just said that it was so like I don't get it. Like you needed to announce to the world that you were not gonna be drinking whiskey or tequila anymore, but you're still gonna be drinking beer and wine, and possibly still gonna drink when you go over to party, like. I didn't get it, you know, but there's definitely, I think there is definitely some kind of problem there because the way Craig was talking, you know, to him and saying, like, we have been through this route before. I have seen you going there so many times. I'm, I'm maybe even thinking that there might be even more than alcohol involved, you know, and actually I was very impressed of the way that Craig was like, this is a ride that I cannot like subscribe anymore. You know, like he was very much like, I cannot uh, see you destroy yourself like this anymore. And I think that's, that's a very brave thing to do because even though you, ha you, you want to be there for your friends and you want to help them be the very version of themselves, you can also not help someone who doesn't want to help themselves, you know? And I think that's what Craig was like um, pointing out at that moment. Like, I cannot do any, any more for you, you know? And... It's, it's valid. It's a very valid point. Now, talking about Olivia and Taylor, this Taylor girl is, I mean, probably, I mean, she is a horrible person. It's just the only thing that I have to say. She is a horrible person, okay? The way she doesn't take any accountability, the way, she is like a female Tom Sandoval to me, to be very honest with you. Like, she doesn't believe that she did anything wrong she like her apologies are honestly like not sincere are always followed by like a reason it's very very insincere and the amount of lies that he she has been caught is insane the way taylor decided to use the thomas revenant thing with olivia against olivia disgusting disgusting Okay, like I will never forgive someone for doing something like that. I think especially because it's something so in confidence, you know, and you can, I mean, this is me because I have had fallouts with friends before. And even with the people, with the people that I have some kind of fallout, their secrets are their secrets, you know, like I will never go out of my way to spill those secrets out of anger or out of resentment or whatever. I think that's the worst quality that a human can have. So what Taylor did, honestly, horrible, horrible, horrible. And you know the little part where, you know, she's being exposed left and right for the whole Whitney situation and sending the naked, naked pictures and all of that. And, and then uh, Leva is basically going there saying like, hey, I read the whole thread like i know where you were talking and she's like what what text messages i erase every single text message from whitney um that doesn't mean that the text message didn't exist right and then he goes she goes um leva goes on and says like you were telling him when you were in nashville come here and fuck me you know and she proceeds to be all like, Nashville? Oh my God, I have never been in Nashville. When was I in Nashville? Oh my God, such a lie. Well, bitch, we have the proof, okay, that she was in Nashville from none other than Miss Olivia Flowers' Instagram. If you go down her Instagram, you will find a picture from November 11 of 2022, when the both of them were in Nashville for the CMAs. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, you were texting Whitney, who is your boss, to come and F you in Nashville. So you are a liar. Lies, the lies, the lies, the lies of Taylor. They are not stopping. I honestly hope that she's not coming back next season because... She's betraying absolutely everyone. I mean, she's like a like a Raquel Levy is combined with Tom Sandoval. Like it's it's just a mess. And then she has like that little that that face of like I'm such a good Christian. Like I don't know what Jesus you are following or what Bible are you reading, but that's not the one girl. Okay. Um. So and that was pretty much. I mean, the whole honestly, this season was really really good. The show was amazing. Um. 
I feel that uh, I think they have a lot of storylines moving forward. You know, and I think all of them are going to be back, to be very honest with you. So anyways, that was going to tell you. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you're going to get all the tea related to Southern Charm or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.